the rule of Christ extends to all of life. The morality that God expects of us is not cordoned off to just our personal individual lives or to our interpersonal relationships. It applies to everything we do in, in life and everything in society and in culture, and that includes politics. There's a tendency among a lot of Christians nowadays to treat politics as sort of amoral, meaning uh, outside the realm of morality. So morality applies to maybe your personal life or to certain specific things um, at church or certain specific ways that you interact with other people in public. Um, but a lot of Christians draw the line when it comes to politics and, and they, they sort of say that's morality doesn't apply to, or at least Christian morality doesn't apply to that. That's, that's sort of a different sphere. And you can sort of do something different or, or keep that separate from your Christian morality. You don't have to bring your Christian theology to bear on how you vote or how you advocate for certain political ideologies or per, certain political policies. Um, and, and what we want to say to that is, Obviously, that's absurd. <laughs> I mean, even if, you, even if you try to put it that way uh, as somebody who genuinely believes that, you would start to th realize how absurd it sounds. And that's why not many people say it explicitly <laughs> because they realize that it really is absurd. Um, and so usually it's just sort of this implicit knee jerk. That's what we assume subconsciously. And we really want to challenge that and say, hey, you need to think more critically about this. The, the rule of Christ extends to all of life. The, the, the morality that God expects of us is not cordoned off to just our personal individual lives or to our interpersonal relationships. It applies to everything we do in, in life and everything in society and in culture, and that includes politics. In fact, uh, politics is a major aspect of morality, especially for the church as an institution, because the, the government, the state, carries the sword that they are the exclusive agent of force in society, or at least the primary agent of force in society. And force is a very serious moral category, right? Um, the, the, the way that the government acts is either going to be for the good or for the evil. And we've seen, especially in the last couple hundred years, we've seen throughout history ways that the government can act for the evil in very horrendous, significant ways. I mean, j just go back to World War II. You, you don't have to go back to World War I and, and before that, although there's been a lot of horrible stuff before that, but just World War II with the, the communism in Soviet Russia and the way that Stalin slaughtered millions of people, including his political enemies, for certain political ideologies. And the way that Hitler, I, I mentioned Stalin first because Stalin was actually worse than Hitler and we tend to forget about him. Uh, but the, the way that Hitler uh, systematically went about killing the Jews and other ethnic minorities and uh, enslaving them and starving them to death and just all these horrendous things that the state, as the state has done, right? So it's obvious that there are certain ways that the, the state that politics can be extremely dangerous to human life, extremely dangerous to the glory of God, extremely dangerous to the church and the mission of the church. Um, and so it's absurd to think that politics is amoral.